Nine years is a long time. The bare naked ladies haven't been in the same room as their former frontman Stephen Page since their split in 2009. Even now, they aren't being interviewed in the same place at the same time, but they're about to perform together. You have to wonder, how's that going to go? Full fist, big, fight. full fist full fight. fight. Full fist fight. Yeah. Full fist fight. Choreographed. Yeah, choreographed. It's right. going to be like a Batman episode. Well, that Biff! <laughs> Joking is sometimes an easier way to deal with the awkward. For me, I'm not looking at it like time to rehash everything or like I'm just going for the celebration. Even they admit they're not sure what to expect. Seriously, until we get into the same room together at the end of the month at Juno time, I don't think we're going to know. I got a blue and red Adidas bag and you on this binder. It's been three decades since the fresh faced performers solidified their image as a group of buds just having fun. Hi! We're bare naked ladies and we're a little too cheap to make our own video, so here you go. One, two, Their first video, shot for a buck in Toronto Speaker's Corner, convinced fans they didn't take much seriously. Here we go, our life is just one big pun. But when it came to building their success, it's the hard work and sacrifice they remember. I moved the date of my wedding because we got an, I don't even remember what it was now, but we got some gig that might have been important to the career of the band. So How'd that conversation go over? It was not easy. Also not easy, a big blow at the peak of their career. I also apologize to all of those I have hurt or embarrassed during this episode. Page was arrested in New York for cocaine possession. It was the beginning of the end. Seven months later, the band abruptly splits. You run, I try to wait, oh brother. You can turn, you cry, and stay for cover. It's been 10 years, but people ask, what happened? Why do you think people are still asking that 10 years later? Well, I think because People had their own vision of what the band was and what the relationship was between the band members. Uh, and people are nostalgic for their own impressions of what that thing was. Tell me why we never really respected each other. It's an intense sort of relationship, uh, personal and creative and business-wise. So. Uh, we tried to deal with it in the, the best way possible. I am Canada Drive. I'm out of your head and I'm losing my mind. You think of it as like a group of brothers or a group of buddies, but it's, al it's almost more like a marriage and it couldn't hold on anymore. But it's a breakup fans have long been reluctant to accept. It's like every day there's somebody who says, just suck it up and get back together, like as if, like, someone was ever going to say to anybody else, suck it up and go back to your ex-wife, even though you've moved on and you're remarried and you've got kids or whatever else it is. And both sides have moved on. Stephen Page with a solo career, sometimes pairing with other musicians. I feel like a lightning strike every time I rock the mic. You can join me if you like. The Bare Naked Ladies currently on tour performing songs from their new album and some classics too, including this early fan favorite. If I had a million dollars, we build a tree for it in the yard. That's a song we played right from the beginning. Maybe even that song was the beginning of the band. If I had a million dollars. It's a song they still perform every night, but for Paige, it's one of the few he's dropped from his set. For me, it's special. It's a duet between me and Ed, and I always thought it would feel weird, and it would sound weird to the audience, too, if I was singing it either on my own or with somebody else. To celebrate their induction into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, they'll sing two songs. Neither side have said which ones, but they aren't worried about that part. There is a certain chemistry within the band musically that all, that was always there, mm -hmm. and I believe will always be there. Playing music together on a stage, easy. Is it a one-off? Right I now. I suspect so. Yeah.
that sounded uh, <laughs> diplomatic, but... Uh, One day at a time. I, I don't think they have any desire to have me back in the band, and I know I don't have any desire to be back in the band, but if there are opportunities to collaborate and we like this and we enjoy it, like there's no rules saying we can't. It's all just a matter of whether we want to do it or not. Get over the first hurdle. Yeah. Let's try it. It's been one week since you looked at me. So they'll start with one night of fun, one night to remember their past together. Where it goes from there is unknown.